Hello folks, this is Trevor Lewis again from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. Um, in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to trim a video that you've taken in Loom. Um, this is really really useful if you start had to start your video and then get a bunch of apps set up or if you have a little bit at the end there where it took you a minute to figure out how to stop the video or if you're using like the whiteboard app like I showed in this video um, you could use this if you need to take a minute and write a bunch of stuff out and you don't want to talk while you're writing the stuff out or you have to erase a bunch of stuff and you want to take a minute if you have in your head that okay this part I don't actually want to be in the video you can trim that out really easily or if something goes really wrong and you like I was making a video about math and I sort of confused myself about the math and then I was like wait uh, am I talking about specificity or sensitivity because those words were like running around in my head and I was trying to talk and write and I just stopped talking and then I thought about it for a while and I erased it and then I started back up where like a little bit backed up from where I was and I was able to just trim out the part where I was confused which is nice um, although you can just show your students you're confused too because we all we all make things better too um, or if like hey here comes a dog that's gonna run into my room if that was all of a sudden something that I needed to take care of um, then I can trim that part out so here's what you're gonna do after you record the loom video and it opens up here in loom you can press trim and the trim tool in loom is really actually pretty nice what it does is it opens up the video and you can play it and you and you can find the part that you don't like while you're playing the video um, by playing like that oh I don't think I don't think you're gonna hear me talking I think I'm I'm the only one who's hearing me talking here but let's say I get to the end here so right there I know I want to start my trimming so I hit start trimming and it automatically guesses I want that part gone and it guesses from there to the end because that's a pretty common thing that people do and you can just press remove okay and then I had a little part in here too where I maybe confused myself So what I could do there is, I, you maybe couldn't hear that, but I was sort of repeating myself because I was distracted by the dog again. If I hit start trimming here, it get, takes a guess at it, but I can adjust it, right? And then I can remove it. And the cool thing is it doesn't actually permanently remove it. What happens is when I trim this and I say, okay, publish those changes, it will work on that. And it doesn't take very long. But if I want to go back and I'm like, actually, I accidentally cut out something I needed and go back to trim, and they're still there. I can just remove the trim, which is pretty cool. So that's the trim tool on Loom. You can use it to speed up your videos, make them a little bit shorter, or you can use it to cut out mistakes that you made or make things clearer for your students without having to re-record everything. Um, if you want to know how to use the Whiteboard app with Loom, you're going to have to watch this video, which I'm going to post also on my YouTube channel.